that boat she's coaching eight eight women in that boat and they're very new you can kind of see But it was just the um, the way the coach explained. I thought that was great. <laughs> the way she explained it, she said, you, you're individually at the moment doing um, kind of just a few, I mean, a good, a good stroke, which is one, one cycle of the oar moving forward and then backward relative to the boat as it propels the boat forward. You're doing um, one good stroke, you're each individually doing one good stroke every few strokes. And she said, eventually, you'll get to the, we'll get to the point where you are individually doing 15 good strokes and one bad one. And the boat as a whole will be doing um, It's not like I can't remember what she actually said. She actually talked about the rate at which the boat as a whole would be doing perfect and good strokes. But she said basically individually you have to get up to doing 90%, 95% good strokes. And then the thing, the aim will be to get the boat up to doing one or two good strokes out of 10, in other words, to get the boat up to 10%, to get the boat as a whole up to 10% good strokes, you're individually going to have to get up to 95%. It was just the way she used the, the way she used the language, and I've just been watching Matuna Yoganathan's Quantum Mechanics 101 video, and I'm, I'm I couldn't watch it. I only got to five or ten minutes because. Uh, Okay, it's quite low path, you know. I don't know what his problem was, is it them or me? I guess it was them because they're running three three abreast. Yeah, to do with timing the photons, and she's going to talk about coherence later. Um, what I was remembering though was Richard Feynman talking about Newton and how Newton Newton came up with his corpuscular theory of light.
And it, his Feynman says, well, it's because Newton could split light with a prism. And what he found was that when he took light of one colour, he couldn't split it any further. But that was really I I don't know that, that there's any kind of sense to find when saying that that was a theory of the corpuscular the nature of light. It isn't it a theory about white light being a mixture of colours and the, the light that you get out of bands of the spectrum once you've put it through a prism is no longer a mixture. When, when you look at an actual spectrum you don't see red and then orange and then yellow with a definite line between the two. What you see is red merging into orange and then orange merging into yellow. And yellow into green and green into blue. I'll go back and check. It's in Feynman's QED that he makes that statement, I think. Because it's when he says actually there is another way to split light which is based on polarization. But anyway, the way the way that coach talked about how the boat worked was very interesting and, and the problem that I had was that I always have with any quantum mechanics I suppose as soon as, as soon as giving she's basically doing a beautiful example of what would what should be on Sabina Hossenfelder's brilliant course which is a description of the physical basis for the Dirac formalism and she's done it absolutely brilliantly but um, yeah she's done it well and and you, you, you see how, sh how freely she can use the language. Uh, she can talk about the state of the system and the state of the light almost interchangeably. Um, and I guess the Dirac formalism allows you to do that. Uh, 
because it's representing states as vectors in Hilbert space. Um, I, th I don't know how to explain the problem um, but maybe Veritasium did a very good video about the principle of least action a miserable day. It's okay to be a horse today.